if Steve Jobs were playing in the housing market, I think there is a fair chance that he might have made the decision not to site build, but instead to uh, factory build, to, to uh, modularize, to build in an environment where he can work at higher tolerances uh, rather than running out in the field and pouring concrete and nailing things together and whatever. I think he would very likely have systematized and modularized a solution. And I, I do think it, it, it creates, um, you know, probably some follow-along thoughts that as it stands today, again, and I, I, I don't mean to just irritate people who are in the housing market, but it just the, the, the reality is that by and large, the architecture that we find in the mainstream of the housing market is dumbed down, very sad, uh, you know, versions of nostalgic architecture. So something is kind of vaguely, you know, colonial, you know, it's kind of vaguely Spanish something. Uh, again, because the, the game has been just, just diluting and watering down fit and finish in order to create more and more and more space. And, um, and I think it's likely that, it, you know, if, if Steve Jobs jumped in the housing market, his houses wouldn't look like those houses. They, they probably would have a little cleaner, modernistic edge to them. Uh, which again might, you know, work nicely with the idea of a more modularized solution that can be kind of factory built, put together. So, I, you know, just, you know, it's just kind of all speculation, but I, I do have a suspicion that, that companies like, I don't know if they're even represented here today, but Blue Homes, if you haven't looked in on those guys, just check their website, Blue Homes as far as I can tell, is a little bit like, uh, you know, the iPod of the home building business. They're, they're building some very cool um, factory built product that, you know, I, I think has a pretty bright future. It'll be fun to watch those guys and see where it goes. So. It's interesting. We talked a lot about changing the vernacular earlier. <coughs> and we think housing will become a verb in the future. We think houses are going to become alive. They're going to learn you. They're gonna learn when you're gonna get sick. They're gonna prevent your sickness. They're gonna learn how much energy you need and what you need to eat and help you prepare that. They're also gonna be a part of your community in a much more vital way than they are now. Um, we've created a program where we donate 51% of our proceeds to solve housing issues. Now granted, we sell very high-end lofts in Manhattan, so that pool of proceeds is massive. And we think, you know, from a community point of view, um, you can't have and watch growing inequity and not have a formula for helping resolve it. So housing will be a key pillar of this, this type of innovation and, you know, what, and really a catalyst for the types of changes we want to see in our societies.